What's up guys, welcome back to the Clubhouse channel. So today's video is gonna be very, very different. This is the most compelling evidence of UFO activity I've ever seen. And I'm a skeptic. I've never seen UFOs before. But after me and Joey left Las Vegas, we went to Area 51. After we went to Area 51 that night, we ended up cutting through the California desert, through Death Valley, and we went down one of our favorite roads that we love, we've been here before, absolutely beautiful out here honestly this is this is it guys this is it but we saw something that was completely out of the ordinary that did not make sense i'm going to show you clips of the original video and i'm going to try and explain to you why what we saw we don't think was from this earth now there is a chance it could be military we're not sure about that but as of right now this is an unidentified flying object, and I'm going to show you guys why. Before we start this video, I want to tell you guys, make sure you click subscribe down below. We're trying to hit 250,000 subscribers before the end of this year. Push that subscribe button. It's very simple. Also, guys, only 18.5% of you guys watching my videos are subscribed. The other amount are not subscribed. So what are you guys waiting for? Click that subscribe button. Let's just get into today's video, and I want to see what you guys think about this video. Now, I'm going into it as a complete skeptic. It might not be a UFO, but I'm gonna try and explain to you guys why we think it was a true UFO. All right, guys, so here's something that, like, we would never... We're, we're in Death Valley right now, okay? Yeah. We're, there's nothing out here you guys can see. Can show me? The sun just went down, and we saw this light over here. We pulled over this spot you guys can't see. Um, this is one of our favorite spots. We actually took a picture. I'll, I'll actually post it, uh, the, po the picture. So let me give you guys a little bit of a context of where we were. This is Death Valley National Park, right outside Ballarat. And we were standing up on this cliff right here, which is pretty high. If you look behind me, this is the mountains in the background. We took this picture in July of 2019. So this was a year ago, but this is the exact spot. And the reason we stopped at this spot is because this is one of our favorite spots and we wanted to hit it before sunset, but the sun had already set by the time we got there. So it was a little bit light out. We stopped to just sit, like, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless right now. There's this light right here. This light keeps going up and down and it keeps splitting into multiple lights. When we pulled over, the first thing we noticed was this light that was just on the side of the mountain. And uh, I mean, I couldn't know what it was. Uh, this is the height of the pandemic. So there is no hiking in Death Valley. There is nothing open. Uh, there's no permits for camping. There's nothing. So immediately I was thinking, this isn't right. Nobody should really be out there. I mean, of course, you're going to have people who defy the governor's orders or whatever, but you know, there, there shouldn't have been anybody out there. But this light was so bright, as you can see the mountain right there. You can see the top of the mountain. You can see where this is. And the fact that these lights were splitting, like you'll see, they, they physically split, just kind of blew my mind. At first, I thought it was drones. I thought it was maybe a military helicopter. Maybe, I, I don't know what it could be. But as you can see right now, they're literally splitting, which is just crazy. You could see like how it just moved. And it's just insane. We actually took pictures of these lights by Joey's phone, which is a iPhone Pro Max, which has the night vision. So I'm gonna show you guys those pictures right now. So in this picture, you can see that whatever that light is, it's up either in the air or on the, the mountain in the background. It's not on the ground where we were. It's not nowhere near us. And we were a ways up, so we had a pretty good view. Um, but this is just, something's not right with this right here. Here's a closer look at it. Um, you can see it's clearly above the ground and it's bright. I mean, this thing was extremely, extremely bright and it's hovering above the desert. It's, it's not, it doesn't look like it's on the mountain in this picture. It doesn't look like it's on the ground. It looks like it's literally hovering above the desert, which is, I have chills right now watching this because I have not zoomed in on this picture since we took it. Uh, but this is pretty, pretty scary looking. I, dude, what is this? He's freaking out. What is this, dude? I've never. The other one just disappeared. I could stay here forever. This is interesting. 
What am I what am I witnessing here? So at this point I'm pretty much freaking out. Um I have never witnessed anything like this in my life. I've never seen weird lights in the sky. I've never seen a UFO. I've never seen uh anything like this. So I was I was genuinely freaked out, but I was intrigued at the same time. Like when when do you ever see stuff like this in real life? You never do. It just never happens. Um the only thing that I've ever heard that I've ever experienced with somebody that has had an alien experience or UFO experience is my grandfather, when he was a kid, was sitting on his back porch and they were looking up at the sky and they saw a bright light in the sky and they said, man, that's a bright star and it just shot across the sky. I don't know if that's true. My grandpa always told me that story, told me it was 100% true. He wasn't lying. That's about as close as I got to UFOs. So seeing this in the middle of Death Valley during a pandemic when we saw no other cars, that's the thing. If you watched our entire video, our last video, there were no other cars that passed us. There was no other cars on the road. And this is only about 9 o'clock at night. So there was nobody out in Death Valley at this point. That's so weird. Is somebody over there playing with drones or what? Like, what? Well, drones usually last, like, half hour, like the good ones. I'm going to put this on the, on the hood of the truck. I really hope it's somewhere. So at this point in the video, you can see they're they're in they're synchronized, um, they're moving synchronized. Whatever it is, um, which even if you're a drone operator, would be extremely hard. I mean, unless you're a professional. Uh, but I, I really don't think these were drones. I don't see any blinking lights. Normally, you would see a red or a green blinking light on a drone, unless the spotlight is just so bright. But the thing about a drone is a spotlight faces in one direction. So like. Would it really disappear completely? Like, as you can see, these are fading out. They fade in, they fade out. Like, what the... I, 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 really, I really have no explanation for this. Also, I do want to take into consideration that drones are illegal inside Death Valley. You cannot fly a drone inside Death Valley National Park, which I don't know if we're actually inside the National Park at this point, but I know for a fact that you cannot fly drones in Death Valley. They are against the law. You, you're not allowed to. Not saying people do, but... We brought our drone with us and we didn't fly it in Death Valley because of those reasons. So if you guys look, there's the road, and there's the bushes, and then there's the mountain here. The bushes, Bring the, the phone closer. Keep coming. I mean, it looks like that because it, I, I was moving. So you guys can see how how high it is up the mountain. Well, like, that's what it looks like during, like, you know, day. Three. That's it, yeah. So you guys can see how silly. far it is. You guys can see where it's at. This is where we're standing right now. It's up on the mountain. It's not on the ground. So yeah, once again, like I just said earlier in the video, you can see that they're above the ground. And actually, this picture is showing two of them, which is intriguing as hell um, to actually see both lights. And you can see a star in the sky up there to uh, show you that the light is brighter than a star. So about 15 minutes of us watching these lights went by, and uh, they all formed a line right here. And this red one came out of nowhere on the left. And honestly, I thought maybe they were dirt bikes or something like that, but... When the red one crosses over top of all the other ones, um, and I went onto Google Maps in the general vicinity of where this was, where we were filming. But once we got home and were able to look on the map, this is where we were at the the pin. And if you follow the line directly out where we're looking, only the town of Ballarat is there. It's a ghost town, and that's not even in the mountains. So that's the road that's not even that's on the, the on the ground level. Here's the roads in the mountains, but it's a canyon. So you wouldn't be able to see any cars or anything, any headlights. So it, it's kind of like, it's mind boggling. There, there couldn't have been any dirt bikes there. There just couldn't have been. Or at least you wouldn't have been able to see them because of the canyon or the way that the road is. And why would all the dirt bikes be facing the same direction? That's one of my questions. Like I don't, I don't understand. Um, and if you're hanging out with a group of friends in the middle of the desert, I mean, I doubt you're going to be turning your lights on and off unless you're getting off your bike. But what the hell are you doing? There's no signs of a bonfire. There's there's nothing. So, to me, as of right now, I still cannot explain this. Dude, that's moving fast as shit. I'm out. I'm fucking out, dude. That's moving fast as shit. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, dude, I know. It's moving fast. Come on, go, bro. That's why I said I don't want to fuck with this, man. Back left. Here, you film. You film. So I know if you saw the original video that we last posted, you guys have no idea what's going on here because the camera picked up absolutely nothing. As I was standing outside, you know that you get night vision. Your eyes adjust to the night and you can see better than a camera can. There was a light coming across the desert that was flying. And I mean flying. It wasn't a car. Uh, we had already moved the truck down the road a little bit. So we were actually, we turned around a bend 
So you weren't able to see the road behind us anymore. So you wouldn't have been able to see any headlights from a car or anything going across the desert. The area that we were facing, looking across the mountain, there was no road. So this white light is flying across the desert. And I mean, it was moving fast. And the camera just didn't pick it up. But I actually freaked out because this, this light was coming so fast at us. And as you watch here, you'll be able to see the light actually coming across the desert. And like I said, it was moving fast to the point where I, I was intrigued. I didn't want to stop. Like, I was scared, but I wanted to stop to watch. It's like one of those things where you just, you're terrified, but you can't stop looking. You just can't. You just can't. And Joey kept pressuring me, like, Steve, let's leave. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm like, dude, I want to see this. This is something. It's kind of like, it's kind of like in Twister. You know, in the movie Twister, we all know the scene. They're under the bridge. She sees a tornado. She says, I want to see it. And she starts getting sucked in by the tornado. And Bill has to grab her and pull her back because she's so intrigued by it. She just wants to see it. That's the exact feeling that we were having that night. We wanted to see what was going on, but we were we were so scared we just wanted to leave. That's that's literally the whole vibe of the night. Be here. Dude, this is my tail. I leave. I don't, there, it's, it's right there. Dude, can you guys see this? It's right there. There it is. I'm sure, oh, it's on camera. It's on camera. It's getting bright. I'm, I'm it's on camera. Hold on, hold on. It's back. The one in the mountain's back. The one in the fucking mountain's back. It's right there. It's back, See, the one in the mountain. That thing's getting close to us, man. Hold on, it's right there. That one's right there, and then there's one in the mountain. Getting bright, you guys can see it. You guys should be able to see it. Now, what you guys don't realize in the context of this video is that these two lights were miles apart. <laughs> they weren't no longer next to each other. They were physically miles and miles apart from each other. They were nowhere near where they were next to each other, splitting and, you know, morphing and moving all around. This was literally miles apart in the desert. So how that light got over there and the other light got to the other, the other side, you guys can't see it yet, but it's going to pop up. You're going to see it. There, there it is. It's getting bright now. Somebody in our comments mentioned that the aliens wanted to communicate with us. That That's what, literally what somebody said, that, the, that these are aliens and that they know that you're watching them, that we were the only probably humans in that area and they knew I, I don't know through telepathy or whatever I, I don't know what aliens use but they knew that we were there and that we were watching them look see how they're like flashing they're like the, it's, the light is flashing at us and it's brighter than ever and it gets bright and it gets dim and, it's, and we're going in a straight line so it's it's not like trees are obstructing the light um you know I I can't I can't explain this there's, there's no explanation for this. Like I said, if anybody in the comments watching this video knows what's going on, please, by all means, comment. Let me know. Because this video, it's not fake. It's not... Th there's the light right there. That's the light that was coming up behind us. You can see how close that light is. Get, like, it's it's pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. It's extremely scary. Right when you take the picture. There it is, right there. Is it above the air? Yeah. That? It's up on the mountain. Above the mountain? Oh, that. It's, no, it's oh, up on that mountain. Oh, never mind. It's on that mountain. Yeah, in the middle. Dude, this is not normal. Whatever this is, is not it? fucking normal. It's right here. It's... I don't know how far it is. I don't know. Hold on. I'm gonna get out. It's right there. Still coming towards us. That one's over there. One's there. But what's that? That's the question. What is that? The one last thing I want to say to prove that this thing is freaky is if you notice, we pull up the road about five minutes. And if you look, there's a mountain range to our left. It's a new mountain range. It's not near Ballarat. And yet we're seeing the same light on a mountain. It's unexplainable for sure. I came across the fucking... Scott, you won't do anything. So that's basically the video summed up, guys. Uh, we went out to Death Valley. We saw lights on the side of a mountain. We can't explain what they are. If you guys know anything about these lights, please include a comment at the bottom of this video. Let us know. There's only one other video that I could find on YouTube that shows that exact same thing. And I'm gonna put a clip in right now from that video. Yes, I think they're hel they're yeah, I think that you know what they're helicopters.
so yeah, it's very intriguing. It's it's a very it's a very scary feeling being there, not knowing what this is. Like I said, it could have been drones, it could have been a helicopter, it could have been dirt bikes, but we've basically debunked all of that. And to sit there in the middle of Death Valley with no one around, no cell phone service, nothing, it's terrifying. You don't know what UFOs are capable of. Like I said, I'm a skeptic, but I've seen videos about abductions. I've seen videos of just crazy stuff. And I mean, Joey the entire time was flipping out. Joey did not want to be there. He wanted to leave. I was intrigued. I wanted to keep there. I, w I wanted to stay there and watch. I wanted to watch and see what happens. But at the same time, I wanted to go. If you guys want us to head back out there, smash a like on this video. Let's go for 10,000 likes on this video. I want this video to go viral. I want to see if we can find some real explanations for this video. So share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it in UFO forums, maybe on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, Reddit maybe. I really want an explanation as to what happened and I wanna go back out there and I wanna investigate and see if maybe we can see the same thing sometime in the future. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on notifications so you never miss a future Clawboss video, and go follow me on Instagram because I always post when I'm posting a new video. So if YouTube doesn't notify you, I do. If you're from TikTok, thanks for watching. I appreciate and love every one of you. I'm Clawboss, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.